Welcome back to Strength for Today for November 25th. Saved to serve. I love it. Let's look at Galatians 5, 13 to 14. Galatians 5, 13 to 14 says, You, my brothers, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the sinful nature. Rather, serve one another in love. The entire law is summed up in a single command. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you keep on biting and devouring each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. Saved to serve. In the mid-1890s, a small congregation at the church in Tacoma, Washington, began a tutoring program. Led by a church member and former educator, a group of women began to regularly tutor elementary school children from the neighborhood. As time progressed, the women began to get to know the different families they were helping and were able to meet other needs they had as well. What started as a small tutoring program led to a variety of outreach ministries in the community and has touched thousands of lives. Isn't that a great story? I love it. Love is the motivation for the heart of the believer. The Christians at the church in Washington and around the world realize that they have been saved in order to serve. Whether it's tutoring children after school or providing meals to the homeless or doing yard work for the elderly, all of us are called to serve. We aren't saved to stand around and watch others do the work. Instead, we are to serve each other through love, through loving our neighbors as ourselves. As the Apostle John said, Let us not love in word or tongue, but in deed and in truth. I love that story. I love to serve people in various ways. And it's so exciting that those women, they just thought, hey, let's just tutor these kids. And pretty soon they were helping families and probably giving meals and a lot of other things. A lot of ministries grow that way. They start with something very small. God moves one person in their heart to go do one thing. And that one thing leads to another thing. So hope today, if God is tugging at your heart to be doing something, that you say, yes, Lord, and you go do that. We just had Thanksgiving, a time to be thankful. So let's get out there now and use our talents and be helping other people along the way. Who knows? Some great ministries ministry, even if it's not so big right now, but maybe a hundred years from now, may be huge because you decided to do something today. So let's get out there and serve and I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own copy of Strength for Today by Dr. David Jeremiah by going to davidjeremiah.org or calling Turning Point at 877-998-0222. And I would like to answer any question you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. I hope you lean on God's strength and have a fantabulous day.